you set out with your virtual event, there's a couple key things you want to keep in mind when you're marketing your event. Uh, the first thing is early promotion. Um, you want to make sure that at least at Wimbley, we try and do 45 days before the event, um, we start promoting and getting the word out. And there's several different channels that we use. Um, a lot of times there's blogs, um, newsletters, partner websites, and social media to sort of get the message out. Um, while you're sending your message out, it's great to use sort of tracking, such as Google Analytics and Bitly and other services like this, to measure how effective your outreach is and marketing efforts are. Um, and the other thing that you want to keep in mind is about two weeks before the event, that's the real crunch period. And that's when we send out a lot of our messages and make sure that everybody is really fully aware of the event. Um, a great way to reach um, a whole new audience as well is asking the speakers to send emails and contact their group because everybody wants to watch their friends or colleagues um, be speaking, especially in a virtual environment. Number two is day of promotion. Um, you want to make sure on the day of the promote, um, to day of the event rather, um, that you really have um, reached out to everybody you can, and anybody that has registered it for the event, you've sent them reminders. We try and send three reminders beforehand um, to make sure that they don't forget. Like let's say they signed up a long time ago, you want to make sure they're they're ready and ready to sign in when the event goes live. And um, you also want to advertise the event on the day of to the people that are actually there because this is actually a great way to um, get people that go to the physical event to watch your virtual event. So oftentimes we distribute flyers at the event telling people about hey there's a virtual event going on too. So it's a great new audience. And number three, um, post event promotion. You want to make sure that you're still keep in touch with the people. Um, it's a great community and keep that community going and having everybody um, everybody participating. Just because the event is over doesn't mean the virtual event has to be, has to be over. So um, those are some things that you should keep in mind while you're marketing your virtual event and, um, and you're really on a great path to making a successful event.